Okay, and uh, welcome back. This is Alvin Mahanur. I'll be taking you this uh, application part of gradient, which says application of gradient and equation of straight line. Uh, this is how they normally frame during national exam. Today's class will be basically questions from KCSC, and I'll try my best to help you. Make sure you catch up with us and subscribe our YouTube channel, which is Atlanta Ole. I'm sure it will be very advantageous to you. Uh, this is the first example, as you can see on board. We have a perpendicular line. We are told a perpendicular line is drawn from a point 3,5. A point is given to the line uh, 2y plus x is equal to 3. Then full stop, we are told, find the equation of the perpendicular. Remember, we have learned the property of perpendicular lines in our previous class. Uh, for your information, in this question, understand the nature of the question. You are given a point and another line. Remember, the line which passes through this point is perpendicular to the line whose equation is given. So when we come to the solution bar, we write this thing. We have a point. This is the point. Let's let's say let's take the point as a three five. This the line which passes through this point you are told is perpendicular to the line whose equation is given. And this is the equation we are having two y plus x is equal to, is equal to three. Take this one to the other side. Eh? We write the equation in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So it will be two y is equal to minus x plus three. Then divide throughout by the coefficient of y cancel then you have y is equal to negative a half x plus three out of five remember this is what you normally call uh, m1 which is our gradient one the equation given always has the gradient one m1 then for you to get the gradient m2 the gradient of the other line which will be m2 and that passes through this point what you're going to do is use this principle which says m1 times m2 is equal to negative one Remember our m1 is negative a half, so we are going to substitute here negative a half times m2 is equal to negative 1. Then multiply by two both sides, then cancel these two, we have minus m2 is equal to negative 2. Then divide negative 1 throughout again on both sides. It will, you will have m2 is equal to positive 2 because negative 2 divided by negative 1. After getting your gradient and you have uh, and having the point, after getting this gradient, Remember that you have a point. Take this gradient plus this point to get the equation. You're going to say, this is what you are having. The point is what? 3, 5. And we have gotten our gradient as what? As 2. Then we are going to say, taking a general point. Taking a general point. Taking a general point, which is always x, y. x, y. Together with the point given, Together with then say a, a which is 3, 5, a is 3, 5, then our gradient which is 2. Then we're going to say y minus y, which is this one, minus the y value of the point taken, all about x minus the x value of the point taken is equal to 2. Remember, we have down there we have y. Then you cross multiply. It will be y minus 5, simply because 1 multiplied by these two points will not change. It's equal to 2x minus 6. Or let me simplify for you. You're going to say 2 into x minus 3. Then it will be y minus 5 is equal to 2x minus 6. That's why this is the other side. y is equal to 2x minus 6 plus 5. Remember, 5 is negative here. On the other side, it will change the side. So we'll have y is equal to 2x minus 1. This is the final answer. What are you understanding from this question? Read the question first. You are told. A perpendicular line is drawn from a point which is 3, 5 to the line which is this one. A perpendicular line, don't forget that, a perpendicular line is drawn from a point 3, 5 to the line which is 2y plus x is equal to 3. You are told, find the equation of the perpendicular. The good news with this question is that the perpendicular line passes through this point and it's perpendicular to the other line whose equation is given. What you do, take this equation, derive in the form y is equal to mx plus c, then from there you are going to get your M1, the gradient of the first line. Then remember these two lines are perpendicular. The line which passes through this point and the line whose equation is given. So what you are going to do is use the property of perpendicular lines which says M1 times M2 is equal to negative 1. Remember that M1 is this one. But make sure you write the equation in the form y is equal to mx plus c. Then we are going to say our M1 is negative half times M2 which is unknown. In this situation is equal to negative 1. Then multiply both sides by 2, eliminate this denominator, times 2 times 2, 
cancel these two. You are left with a negative M2 is equal to negative 2. Then a letter, a gradient cannot carry, and the letter cannot carry negative M2. Divide both sides by negative 1. Then finally, we have got 10 our M2 as 2. Then what you do, you have gotten, uh, so far you have gotten the gradient of this line which passes through this point. Take that point and the gradient you have gotten as well. Then use the principle which says taking a general point which is always x, y, together with the point given and the gradient you have gotten. Then from there you are going to get your equation. This is what you have learned in our previous class. And let's also see example 2. Let's also see example 2. You are told the equation of a line is the equation of a line of a line is is negative 3 out of 5x plus 3y is equal to 6. Then you are told find find the from a one you are told or a the gradient of the line the gradient of the line the gradient of the line B you are told equation of a line passing equation of a line passing passing through point through point one two and perpendicular to the given line and perpendicular to the given line and perpendicular to the given line and perpendicular to the given line. Remember such question in case C it will carry uh, three marks. This question was there in the year nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine that was a uh, paper 2 question 7. For your information, what you're going to do is this what you have learned so far in our KLB or in our previous classes. What we are going to do is we will tell the question uh, as far well as uh, how it was stated in the, uh, in the book, in the question booklet. In the first statement, if you read your turn, the equation of a line is this one, like the equation. This is our equation, negative 3 out of 5x plus 3y is equal to 6. What you do, eliminate this one. What you do, say, you can say uh, times 5, or you can take this one to our side, or you can say times 5. Times 5 here, multiply it by 5, here also 5, here also 5. Then 5 and 5 becomes so you are left with 3x, negative 3x, plus 15y is equal to 30. Make your equation linear. Then take this one to our side, 15y is equal to 3x which will be positive because here it's negative on the other side it will be positive plus that then divide both sides by throughout by 15 throughout 15 cancel then you'll have by 3 1 by 3 5 1 out of 5x plus 2 by 15 1 by 15 2 so remember this is the equation written in the form y is equal to mx plus c so our gradient is always the number attached to x which is 1 out of 5 and that is the gradient of the first line whose equation is given. You are told when you come to B, this is the first answer. When you come to B, remember this was L. You are told equation of a line passing through this point. You are given a point. And perpendicular to this line. So what you are going to do is this, our M1, remember. We know that uh, M1 times M2 is equal to negative 1. So we are going to say 1 out of 5 times M2 is equal to negative 1. Times 5 times 5, cancel. M2 therefore is equal to negative 5. Then, what you're gonna, what you're gonna do is, uh, so far you have the gradient here as negative 5 and a point. Remember a point was given. This is our point, let's say the point A, let's assume. 1, 2, then we have our gradient as negative 5. So what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to follow the same procedure because we have a point and a gradient. So we can get our equation by saying, taking a general point. Or even you can say, let x, y lie on the same line. But however, we can still use that one, you can say, taking a general point. Taking a general point. Taking a general point. Which is x, y. Together with 
together with together with the point given which is let's say a one two then you are gradient which is negative five so we can say y minus two all over x minus one y minus the y value of the point taken over x minus the x value of the point taken is equal to the gradient. Remember here we have one. Cross multiply y minus two is equal to minus five open the bracket x minus one. So we have y minus two is equal to minus five x plus five goes negative times negative is positive. So y is equal to minus five x plus five plus two. As we transfer this into the other side, it will change the sign. Y is equal to minus five x plus seven. That is the final answer. This is typically the, in a, just like the uh, form of question. You are given an equation. From the equation, you are told to find the gradient. You have gotten the gradient. We are also given another line which is perpendicular to the line which equation is given above uh, and having a certain point or passing a certain point. So what you do, the gradient you have gotten from the first one multiplied by M2, which you are looking for, will give you negative one. From there, you are going to get the M2. Then use the principle which says, checking a general point together with it, a point given, then you go ahead like that. Then if I go ahead and see more example about this, uh, or how they frame during a uh, national exam, I'm sure we will see a different concept. Now, uh, let's see a situation we have uh, a question which is somehow complex compared to this one. Uh, during the examination, they can also uh, uh, tell you to find uh, the value of a letter. And now let's see that one. Let us see uh, the, such a situation. Let's see this one. Let's see this one. A line which joins the points, this example to you, remember? A line which joins, line which joins the points. The points, A, open the bracket, we have 3, K, comma. And uh, if we go ahead from here, a line which joins the points uh, uh, 3K and, and B, B we have uh, negative 2, 5 is uh, parallel, is parallel to another line, to another line, we are told whose equation is, whose equation is 5y plus 2x is equal to 10. This remember 5y. Then you are told find the value of k. You are told find the value of k. So what you are going to do is when you are told to look uh, the value of k in such scenario or situation, what you do is get this equation first. Get this equation. Express your gradient. Let's come to the solution part. Let's come to the solution part. Let's now get our equation. This our equation 5y plus 2x is equal to 10. Take this one to the other side. It will be 5y is equal to minus 2x plus 10. Then all over 5, all over 5 throughout. Divide by 5, cancel. So y is equal to minus 2 out of 5x plus 2. Remember this M1. So our M1 come to this point. Our M1 is what? Our M1 is negative 2 out of 5. But remember the same parallel line. It's parallel to. Remember two lines are parallel if they have the same gradient. Which means M1 is equal to M2 in this situation, which will be negative 2 out of 5. So we will let them take the, the gradient we have gotten and that point to get the equation of the other line. Or we will express, when well, not the equation, we will express that gradient. We want to get the gradient. Remember, and uh, Remember, let's express, let's get the value of k by saying we have a as uh, 3k and we have b as what? b as negative 2, 5. Then, but we have the gradient, don't forget, our gradient is what? Negative 2 out of 5. So we're going to say 5 minus k because this x1, y1, x2, y2, y2 minus y1, express the gradient. All over x2 minus x1 is equal to the gradient. All over negative 2 minus 3 is equal to negative 2 out of 5. Then I will have 5 minus k all over negative 5 is equal to negative 2 out of 5. Then cross multiply. It will be 
uh, 5 into 5 minus k is equal to negative 2 into negative 5. Then we have 25 minus 5k is equal to uh, 10, which is positive. Then take this one to the other side, it will be minus 5k is equal to 10 minus 25. Then minus 5k therefore is equal to minus 15. Then divide both sides by negative 5. Cancel. K will be negative and it will go by 5, 4, by 5, 3. That's how you are going to get the value of k for your information. In our next class, we are going to see a more complex examples that will help you during the national exam. Otherwise, I wish you the best.